Hey everybody, Burr from Stars Gaming here, back with another episode of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. So in the previous episode, we fought to clear out a bandit camp, and we fought against two legendary bandits, uh, King Svein and the Wolf. And so we're going to go collect our pay now, but I thought this was funny, so I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys. Um, with the fighting over, you quickly search for and find King Svein's corpse amongst the dead. He still looks mighty mean even as the color leaves his body. He still looks quite mean when you leave his head of his body, and though you can't see his face any longer as you toss his head into a burlap sack, you assume he looks mighty mean then too. So I thought that was just kind of funny. Um, so we're going to go collect our pay now as we do that. Um, I just want to remind you guys to hit that like button if you are enjoying the series so far and you'd like to see more Battle Brothers. And don't forget to subscribe as well, it's the best way to follow along with the series and uh, the best way to help the channel grow. So, oh, we got some orc hunters. I don't know if... Oh, they've got a berserker. I'm probably not going to mess with them. That seems like a bad idea. The militia are running them off. That one berserker could cause a whole lot of trouble for us, so... Oh, wow. Let's see. <clears throat> so you hold King Svein's head up. Its sloped gaze turning to the ropes of bloodied hair. A slow smile etches across Gottfried of Seastad's face. You know what you've done, Sellsword? Do you know how much relief you've brought to these parts just by removing that man's head from his shoulders? You'll be getting more than what you bargained for. A thousand and seventy crowns for the original task, and he slides a chunky purse across the table. A little something for that extra weight you've been carrying around. So we'll get 2100 for it instead of 1000 that's awesome. So he basically gave us double. Now we won't be able to spend it here because uh, it is night time. But let's see what this quest is. Hmm. I don't do patrolling, sorry. What was this one? Uh, Attendorn was way too far away as I recall. Attendorn, Attendorn, Attendorn. Yeah, no. Not gonna happen. So, I guess let's head to Bramingwold and we'll see if they've got any work for us. And hopefully, by the time we get there, it's dawn and we can spend some of our newfound money. Alright, so just as I had hoped, the sun is coming up as we arrive. I'd like to see what they have in the market for us. And, oh, they have. Ooh, that's gonna be a little bit too difficult. Not quite our speed just yet. Um, we could use some food. That's pretty good price on bread. Let's see. I think we could do better on this. Huh. Or sorry, grain. What was I thinking? Not bread. That's pretty pricey. Those roots and berries aren't bad, though. I'll grab some of them. Could use the tools as well, but that is way more than I want to spend for tools. And that's not a bad price on a shield there, but I don't need any more shields. Hmm. I think we're pretty good with what we've got here. So overall, pretty disappointing there. I'm going to buy a new dog, though, while we're here. Let's see, we got Rags and Duke. Hmm. We're going to grab Duke. And... Let's see. Oh, we've got some level ups. Let's take care of that. We've also got gear to distribute as well. So, I'm thinking definitely resolve, because I like to get them at least 50. That's like the minimum. And then uh, more fatigue is never a bad idea. I'll probably go with some melee defense as well. Staying alive is usually a good idea. And we'll actually go gifted like we've been doing. Basically, what I do with this new perk system, first level up, you take student because they'll get 20 experience um, on top of what they normally get from battle, so they level up faster. Basically, gives you more level ups down the road, or at least you get them quicker. The second one I like to take is gifted because it basically gives you a free uh, level up with your experience points. So, basically, we get to click on this again. And the nice thing about this one is you basically get the max number of attributes. So before it was like plus two, plus three. 
these are all plus five or well plus four or greater so definitely get him some more resolve there um, I'll probably go melee skill and melee defense with that one and then Alfred we're gonna do gifted as well but I like to take care of this first just to kind of plan out what I want to do moving forward we'll take two there four there and four there and then we're gonna go gifted another five there another four there and hmm initiative initiative is not very important to me at all I honestly prefer to go last so that's something I very rarely bother to put any points into I'm gonna give him some hit points that seems good to me and let's see you're pretty beat up aren't you hmm well let's get your bow back out and we lost somebody didn't we yes we lost an archer that's a bit unfortunate let's have you sit out you can tag back in and we don't really have anybody who is capable of wielding a bow let's see um, Marcus you can have the dog since you had the dog before where did I put the dog there he is and then hmm who do I want to give the really good axe to I'm curious so 30 45 Technically, the flail has a higher potential for damage, but this is more consistent. This can also do headshots, though. That's going to ignore slightly more armor. It's a tough call. They're both pretty decent weapons. Um, I'm also going to give you a better helmet, since we have plenty to go around now. And I'm not sure who should get the other one. How much fatigue does it cost? Minus one vision, minus five fatigue. Hmm, I don't know if it's worth giving it to him. Let me give Reiner this male coif, though. And then... You know what? I'm just going to give him that one. And Alfred can have this. Actually, six days, ten days. Okay, so he is the veteran between the two. I think I'm also going to give Bernard a bigger shield. And we've still got a lot of weapons to distribute here. You've got a boar spear. Let's give you one as well. So much good stuff to hand out. I still got to figure out who I'm going to give that to. I honestly don't know. Tillman's been around for a pretty long time. I guess we'll give it to him. And then that morning star. Hmm, I'm not sure. We'll think on it for a little bit. I'm not going to bother looking into that one. Is there anybody here who might make a decent archer? You're a day tailor. You are a former militia soldier, a retired soldier, a deserter. No. We'll pass on those. Right. So. I say we head back to Seastad now that it's daytime because they did actually no 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 that was a mistake we should head south we're gonna head to Adler walked okay so hopefully they've got some work for us um, otherwise I'm not sure where we're gonna want to head from here I don't know if I want to continue to go south oh man another three three skull let's a little bit more difficult than I typically like to take on. Uh, that's pretty good price on that grain, so we'll grab some more. Their tools, unfortunately, are overpriced, although not as overpriced as the other place, so it might be worth grabbing a few here. I don't need that many morning stars. I really don't need this many spears. So we'll get rid of a couple things here. That hood can go. Uh, we'll get rid of one of those as well. Hmm. Yeah, the uh, the Morning Star is a better weapon. 
Although the hatchet does do shield damage, the morning star doesn't. So maybe I should keep a hatchet around. Let's see, 92, 94. I'll keep the 94. And maybe I'll get rid of like one more spear. I've got a couple. I really don't need a ton. I guess sell that one. And I've got a couple swords here. These are not the best swords. Oh, that's an arming sword. That's actually a really good sword. The uh, short sword, not so great. So I might ditch that one. And lots and lots of shields, which are handy. So I'll keep those around. How are we on medicinal supplies? Actually, not too bad. Okay, that works for me. Anybody here worth hiring? An apprentice. Could be worth it. Especially if he's got any range skill. Since he's so cheap, I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice on this one. We'll see if he's any good. Because I do need somebody who can wield a bow. No, he's not very good. But he will level up faster, so it might be worth just giving him a bow and kind of letting him go. Letting him try it. Oops. Because, again, he will level up pretty quickly. And so it might not be such a bad idea. We'll get him outfitted, and I'll throw him in the middle here. As for a weapon, I guess you can have this pitchfork. And then, let's see... You can have that arming sword, since it's a little bit better. Only slightly. Just a little bit more effective against armor and a little bit a little bit higher base damage. So still no work. I guess we're going to head back... Mm, no, let's go south. Do we want to go to Duncanwald or Koppeldorf, though? Koppeldorf is technically closer, so I guess we'll do Koppeldorf. But yeah, I've, I've noticed in this build... Oh, there's some bandits. Let's fight them. That might be a good way to earn some money and gain some loot. They're thugs, though, so they're not going to have anything particularly great. Although they might lead me to a bandit lair or something that would be a lot of fun to knock over. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I've noticed in this build, it is really, really difficult to find work. And I wish they would um, work on that a bit. Oh, are they swimming for it? Wow, okay. They were really trying to get away from me. But yeah, it's really difficult to find work, and it makes the game difficult in a way that is not necessarily enjoyable. I mean, I'm all for a challenge. Uh-oh. Hmm, some of our food spoiled. Oh well. We got plenty more. But yeah, there, there are good challenges, obviously, like challenging combat, intelligent AI, stuff like that. That's the good kind of challenge. When you're struggling just to find stuff to do, <laughs> that's a little bit different. Um, the work should be easy to find, but difficult to complete, is my opinion on that. But, uh, yeah. I mean, one would think with, you know, all the orcs and bandits running around that there would be plenty of work for a sellsword, but it seems like there's not always work to be found. Most of the villages we go to will have, like, no work or maybe, like, one job that's maybe not that desirable. And so it'd just be nice to have it a little bit more consistent and a little bit more plentiful. So they've got two jobs here. That's, that's nice. Um... The tools are even more expensive here, so that was a mistake. Not grabbing them earlier. Um, we're going to get some more grains. And that bread's not a terrible price, so we'll grab some bread too. Uh, nothing else here of any real value. So let's see what kind of jobs they've got. Escort for a caravan. Let's talk money. He wants me to go to... Well, first of all, I want more on completion. So 560, he's not going to budge. I'll accept that offer. He wants me to go Seastad. That's not bad, although I'd like more for it, but that's fairly close. So we'll think about that one and see what this one's all about. What's he want me to do? Um, Many Knives Hideout. Oh, goblins. 
Hmm. Goblins are difficult to deal with. I want more on completion. So give me 340 up front and another thousand when the job is done. I'll accept that, but goblins are difficult to deal with. I think I just said that, but they are. Especially when they are dictating the terms of the battle. So where am I headed? Oh, you gotta be kidding. That's like way the hell out there. So I'm doing my best to approach from the open side. Hopefully we'll get a map that's not too... Oh, it looks like we're fighting in the forest. We've got a couple ambushers and a couple skirmishers. We'll see how we do. Alright, so I think we're going to try to hold a line here. It looks like a lot of them are armed with melee weapons. And so I see no reason not to you know, play to our strengths. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I think I'm just going to ignore that spot then and we're going to just stay where we are and hold our ground. Because those are basically the same thing. Uh, 48, sure, why not? Wow, how did you miss that? You guys are awful today. Let's see if you're any better. Nope. Not exactly surprised there, though. He's the worst of the bunch. You guys can wait. Man, some of their helmets are just, like, beat to hell. Uh, you aren't going to be able to do anything this turn. Let's have you get that spear ready, because he's going to move in, obviously. He might throw that net first, actually, but I think we'll be fine. Um, I don't want to move here because that will draw them toward this. If they want to hop up there right now, it's not going to really give them any advantage, so I'll ignore it. Um, but for now, I think we're just going to kind of hold position. I'm not going to close ranks yet, but I might have to if they are bringing this many archers. We're going to have to move up eventually, it seems like. They got two over here. He's throwing like bolas at us. He just netted that guy. That sucks. I don't find the nets to be all that effective when I'm using them. They tend to uh, get broken very easily. Whereas they seem to work pretty well for the AI. But I guess most things in this game do. Can we seriously hit this guy? It's like a 50% chance. Um... Let's see, I'm thinking of maybe adjusting our line like so. Can't go there. So we'll go... here. Okay, what can you do for me? Just shoot him, that's the best chance. Nice! Nicely done. Um, let's have you wait. I need you to break out of that net. Oh, cool. Okay, um, keep your shield up. Let's see. Go ahead and adjust. I'm going to have you get up here. And I'm going to have you move up to there. That seems like a decent spot. We'll get you up here. And we'll get you right there. Okay. You're probably fine there. Although I should have put your spear up, but it will be okay. And I guess you hang out there. I should have moved him back looking at it now, but too late for that. So far their archers have been mostly ineffective, so that's nice. Uh, he got me with another net. They look like they're pretty hesitant to close with us, which is a good sign, I guess. Oh, there they go. So I can't move him anymore. I was hoping I'd be able to move him still. But it looks like they finally shut that down. Um, I'm going to move you to here. We might need more help on this side. This seems to be where all their melee characters are concentrated. 41, I'm good with that. That looked like it might hit. Let's have you wait. 34, I'm cool with that. Ooh, one shot, one kill. That's always nice. So he can move again. 
Um, I'm going to move you to here in the meantime. What can you do for me? 26, 26, 11. Let's go after him. Yeah, look at that. Look at our archers do some work. Um, there's only one way through here. I'm not sure who I should send after them. Let's see. There's three here, two here. So there's still two more that aren't accounted for. That worries me a bit. I probably shouldn't send you, though. So let's wait. You might be a good choice. Yeah, let's go ahead and jump him in there. Meanwhile, we're going to get you up there. Raymond, you can close with them. Yeah. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, we'll get there for now. Oh, there's another guy. But you can't exactly help out. So hop over here. I guess the next turn we'll get you in there. You need to get out of those ropes. Nicely done. And kill some of that fatigue. I guess you're going to have to just hang out. And let's have you fall back and guard these archers, I guess. Ouch. Okay, what are they going to do? More of the bolas, huh? Do I want to close with them? You know what? I think I will. Because I think... Well, no, I probably should have let them come to me. Although whether or not they actually would have is, you know, a different story entirely. But I basically just made it impossible for him to maintain that high ground. Actually, no, he can still hang out there. Let's see. That's a pretty safe shot. Um, let's have you step here. And you can still attack, at least on that guy. Anybody in range? Just him, and I'm equally likely to hit one of my own guys there. So let's maybe move you to here. And then I'm going to have you hop in there. That just took him out of ranged combat. Um, not sure where to put you. I guess I'll throw you in here. We'll have you get your melee weapon out. Oh, wrong guy. Okay, so let's have you maybe lash in this general direction. Nicely done. You broke his helmet there. And we'll have you close in around this guy. Hmm. That's not going to be all that useful, but he can hop in there. Eh, might be better off here. Yeah, he's actually better off there. I don't know. Why don't you just continue to guard the archers? You got it easy today. Ooh, that almost killed him. And there's the final guy. Okay. Oh, friendly fire there. It's rare that the AI does that. I do it all the time. But, I, I mean, you know, I'm the dumb human player. The AI should be smarter than that. So he's dead. Um, I'm going to have you move up here. We're going to get this guy out of combat because he is not looking very good. Oh, he almost got me on a counterattack there. Actually, I guess we'll just step in right there like that. Of course, we missed. Damn, they are hitting hard. Let's get you right there. We'll either... We'll See if we have a line of sight to uh, shoot. I can't stab through that. Okay. Otherwise, we'll um, we'll whip out the old pitchfork. Okay. Shield up. We're gonna do this the smart way. Um, kill him, and then we can get you into there. Let's see. He does have a shield, but we're just gonna swing right through it. And 19%, huh? Yeah, hop over there, I guess. 
Let's see what kind of shot you have next turn. You're going to back out of the fighting so we don't lose you. You're going to step in so he's no longer able to shoot at us. And who do I want to swing at? You've got your weapon out, so you're the more immediate threat. He's going to have to take a turn just to pull his sword out. Still got to get to this guy, though. So that's another reason why going after him is a good idea. Let's get you up here. Um, can you really do anything from there? No, you have to step down. Damn. I like it better when they don't hit. Okay. 44, I'll take that chance. Nicely done. Go ahead and reload. There is nothing left for you guys up here. You got a little bit beat up, so you're just going to hang out. Oh, he's bleeding too. Do I have bandages on him? We'll check next turn. Meanwhile, we'll get everybody else up in this general direction. Not that it's really going to matter. They're going to get kind of log jammed anyways. Okay, shield up. Continue to fight. Um, drop the dog there. Let's we'll see what he can do. Not much, apparently. Don't you die on me, Duke. Not after the way Olaf went. We can't afford to lose another dog. Okay. Go ahead and pitchfork him, or at least try. And yeah, we're already kind of confined here. What kind of chance do you have? 30? I'll take it. Let's see, where can I put you? That doesn't seem very effective. Uh, let's just get you out of the way then. All of you hop in over there eventually. You guys can just chill. Oh, no, no, no! Wrong guy. I did not mean to do that. Well, actually, he can't attack from there anyway, so I guess it wasn't that big a deal. But still, was not intending to skip his turn. Come on, Duke, you got this. Let's pass his turn, pass his turn. You can move to there and maybe attack through that. You're not going to be able to do any good from there. Neither are you, or you, or you. Uh, you no longer have the ability to really do anything. Well, you can shoot. I was going to move him in and get his pitchfork out, but that's no longer an option. Nicely done. So, what happened here? Cut artery. That's not good. Um, and what happened to you? Pierced leg muscle. Okay, and everybody else was just minor wounds. Looks like Marcus also leveled up. Loot-wise, we got some goblin stuff, some more arrows, and a little bit of tools and some other supplies that we needed. We'll see what we can sell the amber shards for. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Battle Brothers with you, and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.